to try to slow officers advance as they see the police <coughs> getting closer and closer to this main encampment on Wellington Street. They appear to be building, uh, well, it appears to be a snow wall. Uh, they've been using these uh, orange and black traffic markers, filling them up with snow, building this wall uh, as uh, Ottawa has uh, experienced a pretty significant snowfall over the past 24 hours. And uh, they're now honking their horns again. And uh, it appears as though that is their current strategy to try to deter police from advancing. Again, it appears as though anyone who is still remaining here knows very well that this uh, is uh, considered by authorities an illegal occupation, an illegal uh, blockade, if you will, of this downtown area. And they're trying as best they can to carry on. They even have music still playing from their, their stage set up on site. Have they seen some of the big tactical trucks and the big rigs that police have as they build a snow wall? Sure. Uh, I think uh, they have not been able to see it with their own eyes from the distance. Again, we're, we're maybe I, I can't personally see the tactical vehicles from where I'm standing here on Parliament Hill. Uh, but it, it, they are coming in this direction, and we saw a lineup. Initially, it was a lineup of protesters trying to face off with police as they advanced uh, in this direction. But now, yeah, they appear to be building a snow wall. <laughs> and I want to ask you about the status of that bouncy castle. David uh, Cochran and I were talking bouncy about some castle. of the images that will stay with us uh, from this story, and one of them would be the what about the pig roost? The, roost. Roost, the other would be the bouncy castle. Is that still the plan to, to have that uh, put up in a festive atmosphere on this day 22? That was uh, still up, being inflated a short while ago when we were uh, a little further along Wellington here. Uh, protesters had inflated it. There was a child playing on that bouncy castle, a sign of defiance from protesters trying to project a fun, family-like atmosphere despite police, of course, telling uh, protesters, you can't have your children here, and in fact, you can't stand here at, at all. They have their stage set up. They had music blasting. And the big rigs aren't moving, the trucks are still here. Uh, if you just took a look at it from this vantage point, so now you might think nothing has changed, whereas everything seems to be, seems to be moving in here from a police perspective. All right, thanks for that, Thomas at CBC's Thomas Dangle. He's right there on Parliament Hill. You can see the uh, truckers behind him, uh, people still.